me out of this world tonight take me make me forget my sorrow so when I wake tomorrow I'll know our love was right Love me as though there were no tomorrow. Oh, my darling, love me. Don't ever let me go. Smart move for the kings to back down. It's best not to keep the general waiting.
Well, you took your sweet ass time coming here. Let's get down to brass tacks. We need to get this thing moving if we want to keep the element a surprise. You've done some great work for us up to this point, and we're hoping to use your unique abilities to aid us once again. Thanks to the task my subordinates have delegated to you, the NCR now has a unique opportunity. We now have a chance to take the fight to those bastards on their home turf. I'm in the beginning stages of planning out an assault on the fort. I've made calls to our allies, and they're on their way to our position. Once our forces are in place and garrison here, we'll begin our assault. Here are our top stories. Sir. Rumors have surfaced that Tom's hotel over Benny is taking yet another unexpected leave of absence. How is that possible? We spoke to this right hand man, sir. Swank. There was some talk of the Do I seem worried to you, baby? Tunnels, Sometimes the cat just needs room to swing. On my way up here, there was some chatter back. about their commander. Sure as a carga drum's got a groovy beat. Set up at some kind of base on the eastern bank. Okay, listen here. Unless we can get some additional support, I'm going to need you to help me resolve this situation. You need to make your way to this camp they have on the eastern bank and take out the Legate. That should hamstring this attack. Like I said earlier, we have some supplemental forces on the way, but this wasn't the situation I was expecting, so I can only offer what is on hand. Thanks for your support. I'll make sure the NCR emergency radio is up and running. Go kill those bastards.
compilation coming out soon. Nuclear winter.
like that. But the day that I stop counting, that's the thing my world will end. Glad that's over. For the Brotherhood! going.
It's me again, Mr. New Vegas, reminding you that you're nobody till somebody loves you. And that somebody is me. I love you. All the latest news coming your way right now. A large unidentified aircraft has been seen circling the skies above the New Vegas Strip. Freesiders are hoping they'll drop food. But I wouldn't get your hopes up, Freesiders. In other news, Gamora is under new management after the sudden departure of Omerita bosses Nero and Big Sol. The casino's new manager spoke to reporters. Before he left, Nero told me him and Big Sol were real tired, see? Said they were gonna go camping up at Lake Mead. Said he'd always wanted to sleep with the lake works. Today's headlines were brought to you by Brown. Brown. The other new Get going.
just everything to to be my own true What's up? I don't think you need to worry about the specifics. Basically, you expect a lot of firepower and dead bodies. Enclave technology is even more advanced than Brotherhood equipment. And in the hands of soldiers as experienced as Moreno and the others, let's just say it's truly a sight to behold. Helping the NCR is better than helping Mr. House, but I don't think it's the best solution for the people in New Vegas. If the NCR can take full control of Freeside and the Strip, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Besides, even if New Vegas eventually gets representation in the NCR Senate, it's not like the NCR runs efficiently. See you around.
got a new Christmas compilation coming out soon. Nuclear Winter Wonderland. Look for it on Holotape. Whoops, better put on my newsman fedora here. Several unidentified aircraft were spotted flying over the rep contest site by a local crackpot. He spoke to a toy bear near one of our microphones. It's ghouls, I tell you. Religious ghouls in rockets looking for a land to call their own. Don't you laugh at me. Alpha Squad reporting in. Thanks for the support back there. We've been assigned to ensure you make it to the Legate. How can we be of assistance?
have in store from their vast mysterious sky. Might as well be throwing rocks. But how long can anyone try? Fight, 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 fight it with all of our might. Chances are some heavenly star spangled night. And we'll find out as sure as we live. Oh. Who are you to come before me? You bear the insignia of the bear, yet you do not wear it as a soldier of the West wears it. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. So you seek quarter, terms of surrender? Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. Save your speeches. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. Hoover Dam has never seen the mass strength of the East. Only legged such as Graham who deserved the fire Kaisar blessed him with. Now I am here, and make markers of your people as the Legion carves its way west. You speak in circles. What of the East? I am the East, and I will prove it this day. The victory here shall be swift. Our forces shall take the dam, secure it, then built a road west on the bodies of the NCR. The east will hold. Once across the Colorado, nothing to rival Hoover Dam remains. Your weakness? You seek to thwart me by claiming the Legion is too strong for you? That does not mean we would not succeed. The East was a hard-fought campaign. Even now, Kaisar drew too much of the Legion's blood needed there for this. Hoover Dam is but a place. I will not have it be the gravestone of the Legion, whether quickly, or as you describe, slowly, by attrition.
As for wisdom, there is wisdom in your words, man of the West. Know that I shall return east. I shall not remain there forever. On that day, the strength of the bear shall be tested. If the West is one day filled with ones such as you, perhaps it shall be a worthy fight indeed. <laughs> My coming would have saved you, set your people free in ways they cannot see. War would have tested them, broken the weak with its violence, yet allowing the strong to arise. Violence gave you that strength, awakened you. I can see it upon your face, where two bullets left their mark. Perhaps it is unfortunate Wolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again, NCR. I shall wait for you on the battlefield. Still nothing. For the Brotherhood! That's a fine bit of work back there. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the dam. I'm impressed to say the least, and that's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. And we're glad to have you. And whether you're a soldier of the Republic or not, you're it in my eyes. Sometimes the Republic gets lost along the way while it's trying to follow its instincts. But when soldiers like you come along, it helps them get back on track and does it by example. And what you've done here today, that's going to keep us going for a while. We clean up, take prisoners, watch the East for any more trouble from the Legion. Though I think they're still running, according to our scouts. After that, we'll see what happens when the dust settles and how the Mojave looks now without Caesar coming for its throat. Something tells me we better enjoy this breather while we can. And if that means Vegas, then you and the troops have earned it. Can't keep the courier spirit down, eh? Fair enough. We'll clean up here. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run. But I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The New California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave Wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The Courier, fair and even-handed in his dealings throughout the wasteland, was honored by the NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. Though some super mutants in Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopatha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Invigorated by his travels with the courier, Raul once more took up his guns in memory of his lost Rafaela. Soon after, the Mojave was filled with tales of the ghost vaquero who hunts down those who prey on the weak. With the help of the gunrunners, the boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the boomers began wandering out into the wasteland while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. The Brotherhood and the NCR in the Mojave Wasteland declared an official truce, despite continued hostilities between the two in the West. As per their agreement, the NCR handed over all suits of salvaged power armor, and in return, the Brotherhood helped patrol I-15 and Highway 95. Their leaders destroyed by the Courier, 
The fiends scattered throughout the wasteland. Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the NCR's victory at the dam, in part thanks to follower medical support, NCR allowed the followers to care for refugees as they see fit. Old Mormon Fort expanded its services and was able to aid more people, becoming a refuge for the less fortunate citizens of New Vegas. Though Arcade had not hoped for an NCR victory, he was proud of his role in the defense of Hoover Dam against the forces of Caesar's Legion. Unfortunately, when word spread that Arcade was once a member of the Enclave, he was forced out of the followers of the Apocalypse. Pursued by bounty hunters, NCR Rangers, and the Brotherhood of Steel, Arcade pushed deep into the Eastern Plains and was never heard from again. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. Cass survived to see the NCR flag flying proud over Hoover Dam, and thought for a moment, this is what a hero must feel like. She was about to tell the courier not to get too proud of himself. Then she figured, he knew that already. That night, Cass kicked in the door of his room to celebrate, only to find the man on the bed was an NCR soldier whose barracks had been destroyed. He was cute though, so after having her way with him, she got the hell out, leaving an empty whiskey bottle as a note. As she walked along the dam in the night, she felt drunk, content, and happy to be alive. Which to her, was the whole point of it all. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully, melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. Shaped up by the Courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Golf. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. After the Vault 19 powder gang surrendered to the NCR, they were reincorporated into the correctional system. The NCR did increase their sentences, and they aren't about to take off time for good behavior. After Hoover Dam, NCR helps rebuild Prim as a major stopping point on the Long 15. Though Prim citizens chafe under NCR's taxes, they benefit greatly from the increased protection and merchant traffic.
After the death of Chief Hanlon, the power of NCR's Rangers was broken for years. Their organization, so reliant on the wisdom and guidance of its elder members, became a shadow of what it once was to people across the wasteland. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. Legends of their power spread throughout the Southwest, a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.